Hey guys, in this video I want to show you the latest development version of Blender 2.8, just a few impressions of the UI for the menus or the bones when creating an animation, so let's see. The tool shelf for example has this nice fading effect when I press the T key to show or hide it. And the viewport shading buttons are in the middle of the viewport, which is okay in my opinion. Also the overlays menu with this button to show or hide all the overlays. You can still press the tab key to change between edit and object mode, but when you hold the tab key down and move the mouse, the pie menu appears and this feels quite good as soon as you get used to it. Ok, but I also wanted to create a short animation with EV and rendered viewport shading enabled, so we need a simple object that we can animate. I use the insert and extrude tool to create it. A very simple shape, just for demonstration. For these two edge loops here I create a bevel by pressing Ctrl and B. And then I want to add smooth shading, so I press spacebar to search for it, because I don't see it in the UI. And look at this what happens, I get this menu. We would see if they stick to this, but in this version anyway you have to search by pressing F3 and here I find smooth shading. Ok, now I switch to the material tab and turn the color of the shader, which is the principal shader by default now, to a red tone, like this. After that I add a subsurface modifier, which works again, like most of the other modifiers. And then I turn to the rendered mode with EV and this looks pretty nice. You can switch the renderer here in the render tab from EV to cycles or to workbench. Ok, but back in Eevee I will add bones now, but this new bone is by default covered by the object. But in the solid shading mode I can just press the Z key and you can see the bone through the object. Now you could argue that I can just enable X-ray for the bone, but this doesn't seem to work at the moment. When I turn again to rendered preview the bone is again invisible. So to create my armature I turn again to solid viewport shading then select the bone and switch to edit mode. Then, as you know it from previous versions, press E to extrude out new bones. And once you're done, switch to object mode, select the model, then the bones, press Ctrl P and choose with automatic weights. This is the rigging process as you know it. But when I switch to pose mode now you can see that the rendering of the bones is different, it looks more professional now in my opinion. And with Eevee it is possible to pose the model in the real time rendered viewport. I switch now to the rendered viewport shading and when I press the set key you can see the bones at least in pose mode through the model. It's a new overlay in pose mode which is called bone selection. What you can also adjust is the opacity. Ok, in the last part I will create a simple animation to show you the interface of the timeline. So the first thing that I enable is the automatic keyframe insertion and the keying can be found now in this menu. I choose to add keyframes for location, rotation and scale. And now we can go ahead and insert keyframes for the selected bones in pose mode by pressing the I key. I do this for the first frame and then for frame let's say 120. For the frames in the middle I will add some random transformations, just to add some keyframes and to get a very simple looping animation. Ok, now I press the play button to start the animation and now I can hide all the overlays and I get a real time preview on how my animation will look like when it is rendered. So guys, that's it again, I just wanted to give you some impressions of the latest Blender development version, I really hope you like it, and if you do, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any ideas or questions, add them to the comments below, if you like to support me, think about being my patron. Thanks for watching, thanks for your support and I'll see you on JNM.